Murchison Falls National Park covers almost 40,000 square kilometers of grassland and wooded savanna in northwestern Uganda. The vast park is bisected by the Victoria Nile, which flows into Lake Albert. Oil was first found in the park back in 1920, with an initial well drilled in 1938, but it was only in 2006 that Tullow Oil made a huge find. Oil has been discovered in Uganda in 2006 by Tulo, one of our partners. And so far, we do think that uh, the oil deposits are pretty large. We're talking about 1.2 or 1.7 billion barrels of uh, resources uh, which could be produced, which at the scale of a country like Uganda, it's very important. I'm Musei, a junior drilling engineer with Total EP Uganda. Hi, I'm Walter and I'm the topographer of Total E&P Uganda. I'm Sora F. France. I work in Saracen, Uganda Limited as a security official. Hi, I'm Joshua, biodiversity field officer for Total E&P Uganda. The Murchison National Park uh, is indeed a very sensitive area in terms of biodiversity, in terms of environment. So it is an additional constraint, but I will do consider that it is an opportunity to demonstrate that oil extraction is compatible with maintaining the biodiversity, with protecting the environment, and with uh, the development of the tourism activities. Block 1 is densely populated in the south, with most people making a living from agriculture and fishing. The northern area of the block is home to wildlife such as elephants, giraffes, buffalo, lions, baboons and antelope. In Uganda, as in its other host countries, Total takes its role as a responsible partner and its social license to operate seriously. For the first time, Total ENP Uganda launched a series of biological surveys with UWA to address the lack of detailed data in the Murchison Falls National Park. At the beginning, when we started discussing these uh, all aspects of uh, 3D, we were a little bit skeptical about mm. the impacts because we are looking at the intensity of the lines and all that. Nowhere in the world have we introduced so much technology of an advanced level. The fact we're using the cableless recording system for seismic, again, means there's no cables anywhere on the surface, so it's very inconspicuous on the ground. We map all the physical features that are critical for the survival of wildlife in uh, Maxion Falls National Park, such as Coblex, where the cobs met. You have several other small avoidance features uh, on this. We keep monitoring when the lioness takes away the cubs, and then we make sure that it is only when the cubs and the lioness are out of here that we allow the seismic teams to go and work in these areas. On a également une zone humide qui s'appelle la Ramsar Terra qui, est, qui, qui fait partie des eaux internationales du, du Nil. Donc c'est une zone très sensible. Actuellement, pour pouvoir supporter une campagne qu'on va faire sur le Nil, on utilise des drones, ce qui va nous permettre de pouvoir identifier toute espèce animale en danger. Donc on veut être certain que par tous les endroits où on va, on ne va pas perturber ces, ces animaux. Et on applique strictement un principe de avoidance, c'est-à-dire on évite complètement les zones où il y a des animaux sensibles qui ont été identifiés. When you have more than 600 people walking every day on the park with a fleet of vehicles of more than 120 vehicles, you cannot avoid to make some damage. Part of the of the strategy is to restore all the damage we are doing uh, during our operation. For that, we have a green team in charge of restoring all impact we could have done during our operation. So six months ago, we had uh, one truck that got stuck in, in this area and we are now coming back six months later to see what are the impact after we restored it. Here, for example, we can see that we have the same species growing all over the place. We can say that after six months, uh, the damage that was done here is uh, not visible anymore. My name is Victor. I'm a driver of Total Management Team. My name is Richard. I work with Total ENP Uganda as Biodiversity Field Team Leader. My name is Omar. I'm the Site Security Coordinator. I'm Molly. I work with MSL Company Logistic. Right from the start, Total's strategy has focused on establishing open, ongoing communication with all stakeholders.
we have engagements with uh, the communities, the men and women on the ground. Uh, we call them for a meeting and we, we sit down with them. Um, in a lot of instances, it's actually under a tree and uh, we, we talk to them, we give them the information, they ask us questions. Dialogue is one of our strongest tools because in one instance you can get even the person who does not know how to read and write. I think it's very, very important uh, to communicate and uh, to get uh, to know exactly what is going on because uh, this information is passed to the tourist. If the guests come and ask questions uh, about the activities of Total, at least we have answers for them. One of the challenges we have to face here that we are entering a new oil country, which is going to be an oil producer in, uh, within a few years. So this is an additional opportunity to Total to, to demonstrate that we are able uh, to be implementing, to recruit uh, the right talents, to train them, and then to, uh, to give them in the organization a management position. The main reason why we establish a partnership with uh, Macquarie University is to see the possibilities of hiring maybe some students uh, for uh, employment and also maybe for internship. We've had four students from the College of Engineering who have gone to IFP school in Paris. Three students this year going to IPS in Nigeria, which has coordinations with the IFP school, and then one student in Aberdeen University studying health safety engineering. And they will return at the end of this year to join the company. I am Moses Ogamdogwa. I work in Total ENP Uganda as a community liaison officer. Patrick, the captain of this boat, used as an ambulance. Linda Tusime, I'm with the geosciences department and I am the department assistant. My name is Peter, working with Total ENP Uganda as the security coordinator. Total has been present in Uganda since 1955 in the distribution branch, so it means for nearly uh, 60 years now. So Total is well known. So for the Ugandan, it's a discovery to notice that Total is not only a downstream company, but an upstream company. So it, it makes it, uh, I will say, uh, neither a French or international company, but it's first of all an Ugandan company. Mm -hmm.